Shooting left 58 Americans dead, over 800 injured, and today, after nearly 16 months of investigation, the FBI has found no specific motive in that Las Vegas massacre. Today, the FBI announced its inquiry into the one October mass shooting is complete without any conclusion on why. No clear motive in the one October shooting. The FBI issuing its final report today. The FBI issuing its final report today. The FBI issuing its final report today. It offers just limited insights into what actually fueled the nation's worst shooting rampage. Well, no motive. That is the conclusion the FBI has come up with in its investigation into the Las Vegas mass shooting. So this is the report that the FBI released today. They spent more than a year investigating, and as you can see, it's not even three full pages. <laughs> that will be finalized before the anniversary date. Now that's a long time for some people. But speaking for the FBI, that's light speed. All right. And again, it will be thorough. As I sit here today, I believe that uh, we are learning as much as we possibly can about why the subject did what they did, subject did what they did. did what they did Jack did what they did uh, and it will all go into a picture but I will note I will note for the record that we have this is not just a couple of people sitting in a room who are going over data and coming up with this the team that gets assembled for one of these is extensive and it goes not just within the FBI, but in outside the FBI to specialists in various psychological and sociological fields who can inform upon a good opinion as to what this is going to be. I've said this before, I believe at the end of this investigation we will have as many answers as we possibly can without talking to the subject themselves. I am comfortable, underline comfortable, with the pace of the investigation, with the quality of the investigation, with the thoroughness of the investigation. and we will have as many answers as we can possibly provide. Will that mean that there won't be additional questions based after that report is, is uh, finalized? No, because the person that we would most want to talk to is dead. 
Nearly 16 months later, the agency says it can't determine why the gunman, Stephen Paddock, killed 58 people and nearly injured 900 others. The FBI says Paddock acted alone in that October 2017 shooting. The 64-year-old killed himself in his hotel suite. The Las Vegas Police Department closed its investigation in August, also without a motive. What's in and what's not in this final report, Yasmeen. After 58 lives lost, nearly since the one October shooting basically boils down to these three pages and 10 main findings. Here they are in order. It lays out their 10 key findings. Their biggest finding, there was no motive behind the attack. You see me crying right now. It's just, it hurts. It hurts. And that's not something the FBI's recently released report answers. They released these three pages with 10 key findings. A motive wasn't one of them. We want to know why. We want to. Nobody does something without a motive. That's retired FBI's supervisor, Stephen Moore. Yeah, I did 25 years with the FBI. Moore oversaw investigations into mass shootings for the Bureau. He believes the FBI does have a motive, but didn't release it because no, the people working on uh, the case couldn't agree. I totally understand why victims would feel underwhelmed and even disappointed with this report. Do you think we'll get anything else or you think it's... it's... No, I don't. For Daniel Rosales, it's not enough. It's just, it's, it's on the tip. It just hurts, you know, not knowing. My name is Aaron Rouse. I'm a special agent in charge for the Las Vegas Division of the FBI. Before I begin, I just want to comment that on behalf of all of the FBI, specifically the Las Vegas Division, our sympathy goes out to all of the families affected by this tragedy. This is our community. It's our community too. We live here and we will get through this together. The FBI has had a great partnership, continues to have a great partnership with the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department, as well as our other state and local officials. To say that this investigation will take a while is not surprising. So there's a lot of information that's going to change over time as we determine more facts. But this is what I can tell you. Our resolve is firm. We will get to the bottom of this, no matter how long it takes. The FBI has deployed over 100 personnel from across the nation to assist the Las Vegas Division in this investigation. This includes victim witness assi assistants, EAP counselors, evidence technicians, and technical assets. Not to mention additional agents to help cover leads. The information that the public provides us is going to help us solve this, but we must focus on facts. We cannot give in to conjecture. And we cannot respond to every little Twitter feed that may indicate a theory. We need to focus on the facts. You need us to be right. You expect us to be right. and we want to be right. There's going to be questions, I'm sure you're going to have questions, about some people that we've been talking to. 
Maybe people all outside of the United States. Maybe people all outside of the United States. Maybe people all outside of the United States. The fundamental trust of the American people and the FBI is based upon our discretion. And how good would that discretion be if we were to provide information that they provided to us in confidence? This is about in, informing on an investigation. This is about resolving an investigation. So specifics regarding any individual contact cannot be answered. You need us. You need us. You trust us. And the way we have that trust is by using good discretion about what we share. Additionally, we have multiple leads all across the United States and all across the world. And all across the world, and all across the world, to our legal attaches, determining the whereabouts and the travel patterns of all the people involved in this investigation. Determining the whereabouts and the travel patterns of all the people involved in this investigation. The FBI would like an evidence response team in Saudi Arabia now. Your Excellency, Special Agent Fleury of the Federal Bureau of Investigation and his colleagues. This is not America. Your safety is my primary concern. Your team cannot work at night. You're not safe. Oh, we're safe during the day, huh? I know you want him caught. We want him caught. Allow us to help your men catch this criminal. And that list grows. A lot of those leads will go absolutely nowhere, but we have to follow them, and that's going to take some time. Patience is going to be required of all of us. I know we have the patience of this police department, because we have great partnership, and we're all interested in the same thing. Resolving this issue fairly and factually. And we're all interested in the same thing, resolving this issue fairly and factually. With that, I'll turn it back over to uh, Sheriff Lombardo. Okay, happy to answer questions. Um, and please provide some decorum. You want your law enforcement agencies, particularly the FBI, to be 100% accurate. And that's what we strive for. That's always going to take time. A lot more time than a TV show will show you. This is not an episode of CSI. This is the real FBI. So it's straight from the top, it's flat from the side, it's ready to be acquired. 
For these two bullets, we're going to look at them in the shape mode and adjust this image so we can see it with depth grayscale detail. Depth grayscale is a mode unique to IBIS that assigns a shade of gray to every pixel in the image, from absolute black to absolute white. Lower details appear darker and higher relief information is whiter. This makes surface detail appear bold and readily apparent to the user. In this case, we can bring the test exhibit to the left so that we can do a hairline comparison of the two. For a better view, we can also zoom in. Now we can see how clearly these gross features line up. Where we are going out there and we're waiting until we have all of the facts in before we make absolute conclusions. regarding a matter. We continue to look for federal nexus. If there's additional federal uh, avenues that we need to take a look at, we continue to look at those. Always in partnership with Metro. The Metropolitan uh, case, locally, has largely shifted resources, and the sheriff has made mention of this. Because we have so much that we're doing in the FBI on the evidence collection with the victim witnesses, we have taken a, uh, a more active role in the day-to-day -day of things. But the day-to-day -day of things. But as I mentioned, the sole person who did this event. is no longer with us uh, for questions. Our goal is to be able to provide at the end of this full investigation to understand completely as much as we can without talking to the subject what happened and why. That's always going to take more time than people want because of the level of detail you're going to expect. You absolutely need us to be right. I say this a lot to a lot of different venues. You need us to be right, you expect us to be right, and we want to be right. I think that some of those press conferences were well-intentioned on our part to get out the information, and let me explain why. The community was reeling, all right? They wanted to know, are we safe? Is there more out there? Is, there's a sec is there something else coming? And the sheriff and I agreed that getting a message out there to try to inform the public that we're on this, that we're doing everything we can to figure this thing out, uh, and to provide updates that we don't see any evidence of a, of a second person involved. We don't see any evidence of an affiliation or an ideology. Uh, so, I think that what speaks volumes now is when we have thorough, conclusive evidence and fact-based information to reveal, that's appropriate at, at the end of this. And I think that we're going we're gonna to continue to drive to that goal. Uh, that's why we're taking the time we are for our report which I think, like I said, will be probably around the, the anniversary from what I'm being told. Uh, if that changes, I will tell you. But if it changes, it's not for a nefarious purpose, it's because we want to get it right. That's always going to be the reason, folks. It's not to hide anything, it's not to cover things up. Uh, cover up is antithesis to my being. It's antithesis to this office, it's antithesis to the Bureau, notwithstanding what may be out there in the, pu in the public. Everybody wants to do their right job. They want to be the people that get it right. And I'll take all the time in the world to get it right.
button.